this effort to reach across the aisle, Sahel, tell us about it because until recently at least spoken with Chuck Schumer apparently. That's right, Vani. Uh, President Trump is sending some signals that he wants to work with Democrats now after the failure of his health care bill. One of the big lessons from that is that it's going to be very difficult to pass any major pieces of legislation in Congress with only Republican votes. We saw in the health care bill that Speaker Ryan, despite having a, a pretty significant uh, majority in the House, was not able to get it through with Republican votes because, he's, because the conference is divided between moderates who want things to go in a different direction than the ultra-conservatives in the House who have a lot of influence there. So. I think President Trump is sending early signals that he wants to potentially shift direction, but Democrats have heard this before. They're skeptical for a number of reasons that he really means it. Sahil, who else has the president spoken with in this regard, and who on the other side is amenable to taking those calls and, and listening? So the president has not spoken to uh, any Democrats on a consistent basis to forge alliances on any, on any particular issues. Um, my colleagues and I spoke to a few Democratic senators yesterday, including vulnerable Democrats facing re-election in 2018 in very red states like Missouri and uh, North Dakota. These are the types of people that Trump should be able to win over because their constituents like him a lot better than they like Democrats. But there has not been a consistent, uh, a consistent outreach to them. So far, Trump has mostly been trying to get things done with Republicans and Congress. So again, it remains to be seen. A lot of these Democrats would, would like to work with him and would like to show that they have some uh, bipartisan bona fides. You talk about the election cycle, Sahil, affecting Democrats, but Trump's ratings are very low. Does that preclude the urgency among Democrats to compromise with the president? It certainly dampens prospects of that. And a key thing to remember, Mark, is that here on Capitol Hill, here in Washington, uh, bipartisan deal making is about political incentives. It's not about having, you know, playing golf with the president or having beers with uh, b between certain lawmakers. It's about whether it makes sense for Democrats on a political level at the end of the day to work with this president. And his approval rating right now is very low for a president who's just a couple months into office. It's 40 percent, according to a CBS poll today, among the general public. But among Democratic voters, it's only 12 percent. That's going to give Democrats a lot of pause. Uh, before they do work with him. It's going to make them skeptical of doing so. Also, there's an avalanche of opposition coming from the left that, that, that's very, very energized in this, in this era. So that's something Democrats are going to have to watch their backs for, even if they do want to work with this president. Sahil, what's on the agenda today? Just bring us up to date with what uh, talks might be happening on the Hill. Well, there's some talk among House Republicans about how this health care bill uh, may not actually be dead. Take that with a dose of skepticism. There still are, they still are short on the votes. What we're hearing um, from a, a number of Republican leaders is that they want to move on to taxes now. They want to do tax reform, a big tax overhaul and rewrite of the, of the code for the first time since 1986. This is going to be a long project, but they, but they are in the beginning stages of this. They want to overhaul income taxes and corporate taxes. Um, it's going to take a long time. It could potentially take... Uh, House, House Republicans want to get it done by August, but Senate Republicans say it could take longer. It's unclear if this is going to be a permanent overhaul. Some are skeptical. Some say it could be temporary because they may not have, uh, they may not have the votes to, to unite uh, the party or unite Congress to get it done on a permanent basis.